27th day of Elul. Uh, in the rabbinic imagination, this is the third day of creation, the day that God creates trees and vegetation, the beginning of life on, on the land, on earth. So we will return to that in a moment. We begin our day by giving thanks for our bodies and for our souls. Thanks for the body. We give thanks now as well for the gift of the soul, Tahurahi, the gift of the soul that is pure, that gives us a new start each morning. Sarta, 
Take a moment, be still, settle in, and listen. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. So I mentioned earlier that today marks the third day of creation in the rabbi's chronology. It is the day that God creates trees and vegetation that flourish upon dry land. The Midrash and Genesis Rabbah says that all trees speak with one another. They speak with other creatures, and they are created for the delight of other creatures. Interesting that the Midrash doesn't dwell on all of the things that trees do for us by giving us fruit and wood and sap and medicines. No, it focuses instead on their companionship. We celebrate the plants that are our companions on this earth. Some plants, some trees keep growing visibly all winter. Others die down to a bulb, but will come to life in the spring. Trees, many of them, Deciduous trees lose their leaves. They appear dormant through the winter, but they too will come back to life in the spring. At the new year, we may feel like many of those plants. In that way too, they are our companions, showing us the way to renew ourselves. So reflect this morning on how you, how all of us, like trees and plants, hunker down through the winters of our lives and then bloom again in the spring. Let the shofars call this morning wake you to renewal, to rebirth, to what sustains you through the winters of your lives. <laughs> 